everybody, and welcome to season four of Dice Camera Action. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Wee! A super, a super fun D&D &D show. <laughs> totally and, ready. Totally, totally ready. <laughs> Totes ready. Um, and today, uh, once more, we have special guest star Jerry Holkins. Thank you, Jerry, for making the time. Oh, it's my pleasure, sir. Yes. Yay. Um, I won't tell you which one, but one of us is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to figure it out as the stream goes on. Are you sure it's on. only one, Chris? <laughs> At least one is drunk. We, we got to get you on acquisitions intoxicated, my friend. Yeah. I'm, yeah. But by, by the end of the night, though, all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Depending on what happens. Right. Uh, so previously in Dice Camera Action, the Waffle Crew arrived in Chult to complete a very important mission to end a death curse uh, plaguing the world. In the course of their journeys into the heart of Chult, Diath kept a very detailed map, which he planned to trade once he got back to Port Nyanzaru uh, for a safe ship home. Yes. The characters, uh, toward the end of their journey last season, acquired a couple useful items, um, as well as some items that they needed to fulfill a promise Diath made to an Arcanoloth named Shemeshka those being a spell book, a set of uh, pink tinted spectacles, and a, and that was it. Uh, the characters also acquired a resurrection scroll. Then, after a confrontation with some hags, they made their way back into Port Nyanzaru, where Strix availed herself of a, I don't wanna call it a loophole, but fine print in her infernal contract with Omen Drawn, to summon him to their august presence, with the intention of using his clerical abilities to bring their paladin, Evelyn, and quite possibly their puppet man, Murderbot, Simon, back from the dead. Then things went south when the Waffle Crew encountered their evil clones slash doppelgangers, the Awful Crew. And it looked for a while there that maybe the Waffle Crew would lose some important items and possibly even some characters. But no, they prevailed, killing all of the members of the Awful Crew except for Evil Paulton, who skulked away. Omen Drawn, uh, with great forethought, uh, convinced a city guard not to incarcerate them for the, wrongdoing of the, for the wrongdoings of the Awful Crew, and instead managed to secure a palazzo overlooking the dry docks of Port Nyanzaru, and that is where the party finds themselves presently. Wait, we're in a real house? Yeah, you're basically in a, you're in, <laughs> you're in, yeah, you're in a white-walled palace with big windows overlooking the dry docks, and through the windows, the, you see the evening sun <laughs> falling on the, the masts of a ship that's being pulled into dry dock by huge dinosaurs. And it looks like the ship has sustained some battle damage of some kind. Yeah, anyway. This is the nicest place we'll be in all season, just <laughs> rebels. <laughs> exactly. Trying to not touch I'm, the walls. I'm yes. taking it in. Yeah. Um, I, I, I run my finger along the, uh, uh, along the uh, sort of mesh outside, mm -hmm. a little fence, yeah. and I look at it, rub my thumb and forefinger together and say, It'll do, but this is literally the <laughs> nicest place I've ever been. Yes, you were told by the captain of the guard that this palace is usually set aside by the merchant princes of Port Nyanzaru for honored guests, Ambassa oh, ambassadors from distant cities, things like that. Currently, it is vacant. There are no ambassadors in residence, so you've got the did, place to yourself. Did we receive this as a sort of uh, apologies? Yes, so. a combination, oh, nice. of, combination apologies and just omens smooth talk. It's, I had a good role, but there's definitely a make good aspect, I think, to this, too. Absolutely. Um, okay, well, I, I'm going to approach Strix and say, I mean, I can, this, the service you're asking of me um, is, a, is a sacred one, uh -huh. and I will perform it um, without any particular tithe, but the process itself does require a certain investment and not an investment of the psychic or emotional kind <laughs> i'm referring specifically to a baseball sized gem um fucking knew it <laughs> uh she'll just like look around like uh, i'm not the one who should you should be asking about this well looks that's at very Paulton. interesting <laughs> looks at Paulton. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, what now? <laughs> <laughs> Paulton has all of our money, I think. Oh, is it money? We're talking well, money. We're, we, well, we need it. We need a diamond. How much? Just one diamond. Uh, well, Omen takes a second, um, and he has now sort of arranged the remains on these two um, cloths. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, it depends entirely upon how many resurrections you need. Uh, looks like there's two. There's two. Okay. You say, well, <laughs> I, I need two gems, each gem um, appraisal value uh, around 500. So it, five, that's gold pieces. So it may oh, be- thank you. <laughs> it may be that um, it may be that you actually have to make a choice after all. Now surely you need these gems as material components, yes? Correct. Okay. You've heard about magic spells? You know how that works? Only some. Okay. Well, yeah, that was my read. So, um, yes, Paulton. Uh, mm. I, I am, I'm not taking this for my own use. Um, mm -hmm. I assure you that I, I have a reputation that does follow me from place to place. Um, it's true, I've seen it. Uh, yeah, you've been, you've been uh, embroiled in it, certainly. Um, but uh, the service I'm offering is, is free and clear. This, uh, the gem itself is simply an, an investment of the, of the party's resources. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes, now. About the 500 each. Correct. Um, <laughs> what about 133 and a smile? <laughs> Let me see this smile. Is this, is it, are you doing it right now? Is this the smile? Paul's like, oh you... no, this isn't the smile. Okay, and he like turns and he just kind of does a like a. <laughs> I think that would get us up to 400 gold. Oh, okay. It's a very, it's a very good smile. Um, but the the force. What, what about what, what about the, the 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 pistols? Does that add? It <laughs> it actually subtracts. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you owe me money now. Mm, okay. It actually went the other way. So <laughs> ah, fantastic. I'd, I'd stop doing that. Oh. Um, I, I, I say I say it's it's not up to me. The the forces. The forces I'm about to marshal with this ritual um, can't be bargained with in that way, or I would. Trust me. Trust me. If it was purely down to oratory, uh, I could have this done by lunch. Did we take evil, Evelyn's body? No. Oh, because that had a lot of gems on it. Yep. Great. So. Of course, Strix didn't. <laughs> That's money. Why would she need that? <laughs> She'll just like reach around in her pockets and just pull out some just like moths and stuff <laughs> like, flying around. <laughs> There's got to be money in here somewhere. Down deep. Nothing. Yeah, nothing just, like, diamond like squishy. falls out of your robe. <laughs> nothing. Lots of other things, but yep. nothing diamond like. Yep. Here, um, I'm gonna. Is there a? Is there access to? Uh, guards that are in the employ of that uh, of the man I spoke to. So uh, those guards left, but this palace does have guards and staff. Uh, I need to send a message to the captain of the guard. Okay. Um, to say that a substantial quantity of jewels um, was stolen from our party uh, by one of the malefactors who we stopped um, out in the market. Um, and if we could uh, regain access to those jewels, um, I would be able to find uh, extra jewels for their own examination uh, and assessment. Okay. And you sort of write this up as a missive and give it to one I, of the guards? Yeah, okay. I do. I do. All right. Uh, he'll disappear with that. Uh, one of the servants will overhear you as you part with the message and uh, will mention that there is a jewel market in the city, not actually too far from where you are, about a block away. Absolutely. Should it become necessary. Yeah, so while we're waiting for the other one to bear fruit, if indeed it can, yeah. um, I'm going to relay that information to the rest of the party, and I'm going to 
invest myself uh, deeply in the uh, the sacred rite and make sure that absolutely everything is prepared for when I have the components. Okay. Uh, while Omen is doing that, uh, DF, Strix, and Paulton, do you want to do anything? Just hang out in the palazzo? Uh, I'm going to read the spell book, the Shemeshka spell book. Yes. Okay. Or, yeah. It all, it all looks positively arcane to you. None of it makes any sense. <laughs> but, but I know magic! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pretend to read it then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should I'm, nod every so often, just nod. Like, <laughs> yeah, if I can glean anything off of this, I'm just like... Okay. And then I also like look up every like few like words and just look, make sure that no one can see that I'm faking it. Right. Yeah. Once you have to actually check the outside of the book, make sure you're holding it upright. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be. <laughs> uh, Great. Diath, are you doing anything while Omen is making his preparations? Well, if there is this jewel market, mm -hmm. um, I would take it upon myself to kind of go ahead uh, and scout it out beforehand to see if someone indeed has a diamond worth that much and uh, ask them to, you know, the thing where you go to the storage, like yep. just put that under this desk for like an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go try to do that. Yeah. Okay. And Paulton, what are you doing? Uh, I'm also going to go to the, to this jewelly place. Okay. With the so Omen and Strix together, Paulton and DS together. What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're leaving Strix alone behind? Uh, no, no, with, with, with Strix Omen. Will come if, if Strix sees Omen, everyone leave. O well, Omen's there. Oh, then that's fine. Yeah. Unless they tell her to come with them. Apparently not. <laughs> nope, apparently not. <laughs> they see Omen uh, and then uh, they leave. Dieth has very uh, noticeable uh, reservations about it, but eventually relinquishes. Strix is like... Okay. So nothing changed then? Still just D.F. and Paulton? I think so, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, D.F. and Paulton, as you make your way through the evening street, you see a lot of the merchants in and around the jewel market have kind of already packed up their wares. Others are in the process of doing so, but there are still customers haggling with them or, or looking over their merchandise. You can see there's a lot of activity here, but I'd like you both to make perception checks. Right. See if you notice anything untoward or odd. Yeah, this is five. Okay, no. <laughs> uh, 28. Okay, DF, as you look around, you can see that there are people sort of behaving a little bit strangely, and that's because you assume they're either, uh, that they're, they're probably guards and spies hired by the merchants to prevent thieves from stealing things. So they're very hawk-eyed, uh, quiet, nondescript, kind of tucked away on the outskirts of the market, but paying very close attention to everyone and everything happening inside it. Uh, a lot of behavior that I would be intimately familiar with. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you think it would be very hard, based on the web of eyes in this place, for somebody to actually rip anything off successfully, unless they were really, really good. Right. Um, and some of them have uh, hidden away under their cloaks and things swords that they can reach out and pull out at a moment's notice. Uh, I try to point all this out to Paulton and just be like, uh, <laughs> no tricky business. It's like, okay. All right, so then on to plan. No, that was stealing. Plan C, <laughs> that was stealing too. Uh, plan G. Paulton, we're not stealing anything. <laughs> I mean, not anymore, we're not. Uh, uh, but you do go over to a merchant who seems to have a, a nice selection of stuff that is just currently being packed up. DF, you catch sight of some diamonds that you think would fit Omen's needs. Awesome. Uh, Paulton? Yeah. Right. Level with me, because mm -hmm. I have not been keeping track at all. Do we even have enough money to to do this or to even get, to get both? I'd say <laughs> we have enough money with the right attitude. And I'm gonna approach, I, I picked up that this guy has the diamonds we want, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to approach this this fine vendor. And as soon as Paulton turns away from DF, he just kind of goes, 
oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you saunter up to this vendor uh, who looks kind of exhausted and uh, eager to return to whatever domicile he calls home. Uh, I like, so I'm going to pretend just to be like walking by and like not really take notice and then do like a, do like a double take. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh my goodness, my, my good man, it's you. I can't, I can't believe I'll, I've, I've heard so much about your, your fine business. And now to see you in person, this is, this is incredible. I, I cannot believe, how are you doing, <laughs> sir? <laughs> Uh, he mumbles something under his breath. He doesn't even make eye contact with you. Like, ah, that infamous attitude, that 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 gruff exterior. I've heard so much about. They they've said good thing. They've said good things about you, and they they were not wrong. I can already tell. Make a persuasion check. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I hate it. Okay, that is a twenty-five. Okay, uh, you do actually, he does turn his eyes on you and he says, I must get home. What can I do for you, sir? Well, if you must know, I believe that you're in possession of a uh, particular trinket that we have been searching very much for. And he sort of looks over your shoulder to see who the other, who the we is. And then he sees DF kind of a few paces behind you. He, he kind okay. of just goes from like, a, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing this until when he realizes the merger starts looking at him, he immediately just kind of goes. <laughs> <laughs> that is my associate, also a big fan. This is a surreal experience. I it's see. fantastic. I see, I yes. see, yes. You're from uh, Baldur's Gate, uh, water deep, never winter. We, we are from your primary demographic where they 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 anyway so that doesn't matter anyway um my primary demographic sir are the very rich and that's where things get interesting but not boring i must say so um my good my good man that uh that diamond there it's like out on display right y yeah he's um He's just sort of got it on the table. This one here, yes. That's the one. How, how much are, are you asking to part ways with that? 500 gold. Five, huh. um, 500 gold. So, well, of course, as the world goes, I've come to bargain. It is one of the smaller, cheaper ones. Mm, right. So it's not even that... That, that, wait, I like turn to DF, I'm like, wait, is that bad? Will it still work? Do you know if it'll still work? I just, I just said as long as it's worth 500. Okay. To, that, wait, that, hold on. Let me take a look at that. Uh, DF will actually kind of step forward. Okay. It isn't um, the only one there, by the way. There are others similar size, similar um, glitter to them. Right. Uh, I, I mean, I have not great, but at least some knowledge of uh, cut gems. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like to be able to discern that what he's got here is indeed actually worth around 500 and he's just not upcharging got like it. a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, you can uh, just make a... Actually, I'm not even going to have you make a check. I'll just say you can look at them and discern that they are exactly what their value, what he says Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll... Um, non-verbally signal the problem that, yeah, these will suffice. Yeah. And it also doesn't take a check to realize that this man does sort of have a exhausted look to him, bags under the eyes. He, he doesn't want this discussion to go on much longer. It's like, ah, I can, I can see you're a busy man. You have places to be, probably adoring fans to get home to, I'm I sure. I not I'm, eaten since sunrise. Okay, that, uh, well, I'm sorry. Would you like but to buy it? I would. Now, at the current point in time, which time is just, you know, this, this convoluted concept, let's be real, uh, I have roughly 133 gold. Now, I can also offer you... What else do you want? He packs them up. And puts them away. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did they offer a trade? He stops and turns. 
Uh, when this happens, DF, you're looking around, you can see that the guards and spies around the market are all watching the two of you. It's like, there will be no theft. We are honest men. We are not here mm -hmm. to cause any kind of trouble. We've Thank come to bargain. bargain. We've come to bargain. Come to bargain. Uh, I offer a simple trade. As one who works all the time is constantly exhausted and carries such valuables, you must feel threatened all the time. I can offer you a small thing to protect yourself in exchange for your for your diamonds. And Diaz will reach out and take out the horn of blasting and uh, put it out under the table in front of him, but keep his hand on it. Okay. He's like, a single blow into this can decimate and destroy in front of you and will keep you and your product safe. It is beautiful. May I? Mm -hmm. Yes. He picks it up but, and he, he but, sort of looks at it, all of it. He looks down at, holds it up to his mouth. Just don't, don't. Not here, my friend. Uh, how do I know if it works? Uh, I can vouch for it, but I don't know what that's worth to you. <laughs> I can, you see, re, I you can regale that, you the stories. You see that puddle of piss over there? Ah. That is uh, what understood. it is worth to me. Mm, that's fair. I, I can only I can tell you the stories of when it has helped and saved me. The walls it has literally shattered. The pathways it has opened. The yanti it has melted the skulls of. Okay. Uh, you see him cast what you know to be a detect magic spell on it. Oh, all right, great. And uh, he nods as you talk and sort of explain where you, how you got it and what you've used it for and all that kind of thing. And he says, uh, make a persuasion check and I'll give you advantage. Oh, yay. I actually do have uh, proficiency in persuasion, everybody. Ooh. Just for the record. Oh, yay. That's a 25. All right. He says, deal. Excellent. Is this for both gems or just one? Or <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> 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 he says, I, I like heard him say diamonds. <laughs> I, heard I like you both very much. You may have the two gems. Oh. Uh, I'll. We, Dia kind of like looks over at Paul and almost in disbelief. He's like, um, <laughs> we, we accept. We accept. Yes. Dude, this campaign is taking a turn. Yes. <laughs> two diamonds for the blasty horn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> two diamonds for the blasty horn? You, yeah, uh, he he, put, he puts the diamonds out in front of you, uh, so you can take them. Uh, noink. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, and, sir. And then, like one no, last time, but thank say, you. May it protect you and keep you safe. It will, I'm sure. And may the the your stories continue to travel the land. And hey, we got the diamonds. Let's go. <laughs> 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 All right. And as we walk, as we start like departing. Uh, DF will just kind of like lean over to Paul and just be like, I think we got the short end of the stick on that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know much about that horn, but he seemed really eager to have it. You know, me neither, but it doesn't matter. We got what we need. Yeah. And uh, darkness has fallen. As you leave, you see those spies along the periphery. They're, they're still kind of keeping an eye on you, but they're, they've sort of moved their bays for the most part elsewhere. And uh, that merchant that you leave behind pretty much packs up the last of his stuff. And uh, it's it's... It gets dark pretty quickly as the shadows of the buildings fall upon the streets and the sun is but a distant orange orb on the horizon. Back at the uh, palazzo, uh, there is a distant knock on the door and then servants sort of usher a missive back up into the grand chamber where you are with the bodies. And uh, the note on it, Omen says, uh, no gems. Damn it. All right. Well, uh, none of I'll you looted anyway. the body that I left from my one <laughs> stint of, of DMing. I give you a body encrusted with jewels, <laughs> and nobody loots the body. You know us. <laughs> you, you set it. You set us up, and we, and we still we still just can't. 
Right. Uh, yeah, but uh, that sort of crestfallen moment passes within the next 10 minutes when DF and Paulton return. Um, DF and Paulton, when you show up on the doorstep of the palazzo, you see something is on the step that wasn't there when you left, and there's nobody around. There's just lots of ferns and things out front kind of sheltering the entrance. Um, hmm. But it's just, a, it looks like a iron disc or something on a, like an oversized coin on the step. What? Did you drop that? No. Did you? No. Did you? No. Uh... I'm going to like throw a rock at it. <laughs> <laughs> it bounces well. off the step. <laughs> now this looks like this was something just placed here. It looks inserted. like it was literally just placed in the middle of the step. It's too centered on the step to have accidentally fallen there. There's really not much it could have fallen from. All right. Because uh, you're, sort of, you're sort of in an enclosure a bit, so it didn't like fall off a roof or something. All right. Uh, I'm going to like walk up and poke it. All right. Yeah, you can poke it. You can sort of slide it around. It is, it is an oversized disc, an iron-shaped coin about that big around. And you notice on closer inspection that the center of it is shaped like a triceratops head. Ooh. Hmm. What is it? Was, was the head facing up? Yeah. Ooh, lucky! <laughs> I pick it up. <laughs> okay, yeah, you pick it up. It's it's a, it's weighty, but you can easily carry it. And um, yeah, that's all it is. It's a disc with a sort of an embossed triceratops head. Do you think we can buy your horn back with this? I have no idea. Is it's it? it's just made of iron, stone, iron, iron, iron. This doesn't look particularly valuable. I don't even know what this means. This this is clearly some like Port Nianzaro shit. Yeah, yeah. The Triceratops would seem to suggest as much. Yeah, so any value that this could possibly have, it's only going to be here. Cool, I guess we should probably go shopping, huh? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> cool. I'm just going to like, all right, I'm going to tuck it away in my pocket. Okay. Yeah, hold on to it. Mine! All right. Uh, when you go back inside and you make your way back up into the room, Strix and Omen, you hear them come back. And they, they show up and darken your doorway. You didn't die! Anyone drop a dinosaur frisbee? <laughs> do, I recognize, do I recognize this device, Chris? Uh, um, you've never seen one before, but I will let you make a intelligence history check. Uh, I rolled a one. Okay. <gasps> nope. Never heard mm. of it. Never, never, uh, never welcome seen to the it. Waffle Crew. Okay, yeah, I'll yeah. try. Can I try? Um, I'm not smart enough, am I? No. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. But you're back. <laughs> okay. So they're 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 back. Yes. And um, do they have anything that sparkles? Yes. Uh, we have retrieved the material components that you require. At a great price. When you say you at a great price, do you mean you secured them at great price? Or do you mean that you secured them at a price that you're happy with? The price was great. Uh, All right. We have the Bring gems. It. If it means, if we have these and we can bring them back, it means we're happy with it. Okay, fair enough. Also, does the resurrection scroll need one of the diamonds too? So the scroll uh, mitigates the need for the component. Uh, Matt, yeah. Okay, so we only need one diamond. If you use the scroll. Okay, if we, oh, we, we can keep, we're going to keep that scroll. Mm -hmm. We're keeping, I'm keeping that on me. Oh, no, no, a... no, you don't, you don't, if you have the, if you were able to secure these materials, uh, that, you want to keep a hold of that scroll. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. I can, I can use it too, actually. Perfect. You can? Yeah. I have, I can use cleric spells. Not all of them, no. you know. I guess I can heal. People. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I can do. I can do that too. Yeah, you remember. Hmm. <laughs> she looks at Omen like, right. yeah, different sure. spells, better spells. Okay. <laughs> All right. So they part. They give you the diamonds, Omen, and they they do look like they're going to serve your needs. Okay. Perfect. I look at them like too long. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like I just turn them over, 
look at it in the in the last rays of the sun over the port. I try to get a glimpse, and then I, I, I nod. Uh, except I I, uh, I asked if they would uh, leave the room. Uh, 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 yeah, I guess. Strix. I'd yeah. I'd very much rather not. If we're being TBH. Okay. He, he knows what he's doing, Paulton. It's fine. He's just being weird. I don't know. Well, I mean, granted, my limited time with you has been a, a great time. I'm getting all the positive vibes from you. Yeah, I, but, really, I really felt like we were hitting it off. I do, too. But I, I can't say that I know you well enough to. I, I just I just I just want to see. Or do I not want to see? Why do we need to leave? Uh, Paulton? Right? Yes. I don't really know what you do. <laughs> last time, <laughs> last time we got into a fight, I basically had to do it myself. Um, That's fair. I'm still trying to figure it out, too. And I, I was thinking that I would do this myself also. Suffice it to say that I don't come down to wherever you do what your thing is and, you know, give pithy observations. You seem like a pithy observer to me. Ooh, good word. Um, all right, you know what? Everybody else but Paulton has to oh. go. All oh. right. Okay. Oh, should we, <laughs> she'll have like, Strix will hold up a little gold ring too and be like, should we like leave these with her? Oh, yeah, with pieces of Evelyn. These are, these are pieces, of, it's a long story, Omen. They're pieces of Evelyn. <laughs> Just, they're pieces of her, just like. Of her body? Her no, literal, her, like, her, literal her soul, her soul? being protects us, even when yeah. she's not around. Van Richten like convinces us to do this messed up ritual where she like died. We don't really understand it. It's very complicated. It might have universe altering implications, which we don't want to talk about or haven't admitted. I, and also I, run into too often. Yeah, I, I grab the ring. I say, yes, I'm sure this will, this will help. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right, so you're, you're taking both DF's ring and Strix's ring? Are you giving them both Yeah, up? Okay. absolutely. So you got two um, diamonds and two rings of protection with pieces of Evelyn's soul trapped inside them. Exactly. So you know, everyone but Paulton has to leave. Okay. All right. Wait, I have, wait do, I st do I have a ring? I feel like I have a ring. You have a different... You ha no. Well, you, ha no? you and DF and Strix were sharing two rings. You have Evelyn's family three. signet ring. Oh, all right. Oh, right, yes. Okay, and you have her family signet ring. That's a big step. Yep. Like, this does stuff? <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. I see, I see you. Listen, you hold on to that real tight. I can do. Okay. okay. All right. Paulton, just, if you need anything, let us know. Strix, come on. Okay. You leave. Right. You leave. She's still if holding you, the book upside down. Yep. You close <laughs> like, the big door. If you hear me releasing agonizing screams, don't worry. I've been betrayed and am probably dying. <laughs> no, we'll be I, I right get, outside the door. I say to the rest of the t t party, I say, if I kill him, and I'm not saying that that is going to happen or isn't going to happen. Or if he can. We're going to need another 500 GP gem. <laughs> um, so try to source one um, while you're out there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you just trying to give us a job? <laughs> <laughs> it's a force of habit. I apologize. <laughs> Side quest. <laughs> All right. Uh, so D. Ethnic Strix closes the doors uh, to the room that Omen and Paulton are in and are now standing out in a hall with comfortable chairs and things on the walls and plants in the corners and windows overlooking a darkened um, courtyard inside this villa. And uh, you can hear the burbling of a fountain down in the courtyard. And then uh, the two of you hear a loud crash coming from downstairs followed by uh, screaming servants. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Oh no. Servants or serpents? Servants. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wait. yeah, servants. Wait. Sir, uh, Wait. People who attend the, people who belong to the household, as opposed to slithering snakes. Okay, all right. Yeah. Very, uh, very quickly after hearing this, uh, I replay returning from the market and I immediately think to myself, was, were Poulton and I followed? Mm, do make I, do an I have like any recollection of that at all? Make an insight check. Oh, shit. Seven. You didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't care, and it doesn't occur to you bothered to think about that. You were just following the diamond, like, oh, shiny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm sure I was very focused with the the tax yeah. at hand more than anything else. Okay. When I, uh, when from I inside see, inside the yeah. room, it just kind of sounds like kind of a more dull clatter from somewhere off deeper in the, somewhere else in the palazzo. You're not sure what. It could Is be. it like I, a concerning sounding clatter? It sounds yeah. like somebody kind of knocked over like a dining table and everything on it sort of clattered to the ground at once. It's got that kind of resonant cacophony. Do I have yeah. like a... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I say this actually turned out uh, really well, Paulton. I have a job for you. <laughs> Ooh, side quest. <laughs> if anyone comes in the door, kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Can do. Wait, anyone. But listen. <laughs> you, get, you get one freebie. Okay? You get one question. All right? If, if somebody comes in and you think, okay, I want to save this person, you get one of those. Okay. I get one question. Well, yeah. Well, you, you, you get okay. one, like somebody's coming in, you're like, oh, maybe this person's cool. Maybe we could be friends. That person can come in. But you can't just be letting everybody in. Okay, Both so no party in here. A substantial percentage of the people who come into the room need to die. So you can oh have a God. plus one, but everyone else has to be on the list. Strictly <laughs> <laughs> RSVP. Um, okay. Cool. As soon as there was that clatter, too, Strix is going to cast haste on DF. Oh, what is this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which, so now you get a bunch of like cool stuff. And if you move to the side really fast, it almost looks like there's a ghost of you left behind where you were standing. That's how fast you move. Very cool. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. This is a bizarre feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're in the Matrix now. Yeah. It's fast. Yeah, yeah you've never done this now. before. Uh, but I, I guess immediately uh, I no longer have summoning sickness, and I just shoot right down to this, uh, <laughs> uh, this so sound yep. sor or source of sound. OK. Uh, while that's going on, uh, Omen, you start casting your spell. Exactly. First spell? I, I'm prioritizing Evelyn. Okay. I was going to just ask that, so thank you. And this is going to be a one-hour casting time for you, so yes. you begin this incantation. Ooh. Oh, shit. And Paulton, after about 30 seconds, you're like, is it over yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you stand like, while ready. While he's casting it, I'm, I'm just like, hey, how long is this? <laughs> 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 okay, I'll, I'll just stay by the door. <laughs> Dieth, when you uh, rush downstairs, you see at a sort of a cross hall ahead of you, a bunch of servants just run screaming past. Right, but to me, they're like going. Right, yes, <laughs> yes. And when you sort of slide into the intersection and look the other way, you can see Waffles is going to town in the kitchen and has a big salami in her mouth and just is chewing the shit out of it. Oh, girl! And one of the servants oh. is behind her beating her butt with a frying pan. Wait! But having absolute Waffles doesn't care. She's, Bad girl! Wait, do I, do I hear As soon as she this? bites the salami in half, she immediately sort of lunges at a cupboard and pulls out what looks like a cake. Oh okay. God. So from what I can tell of her behavior, she's clearly just hungry. She's not going right. feral, right? Yes. Okay. And you're trying to think back in you know the last twelve hours when she's been fed, and you're like, you know, I don't think she's been fed. Oh yeah. <laughs> Our oh. girl does not go feral, DF. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Okay. Uh, uh, faster than you she's ever seen before. Has she uh, been comforted and pet? <laughs> We're talking about the, the the ultra pet. Yeah. Okay. It's just a vibration. It's like the dim mock uh, death touch of petting. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and when you show up, uh, the servants, who, the servant who's accosting her with the pan, sort of backs off, drops the pan, and runs away. Yeah, immediately I'm just like, I, I start apologizing. Uh, you know, this is my responsibility. This is mine. I'll yeah. take care of it. A couple guards burst in through the back kitchen door at this point and just sort of Strix. stare stupidly <laughs> at this I behemoth. Can, I can fly in if I hear Dieth yell. Oh, are you going to mount your broom? Yeah. Okay. I'm not like that's going to help. The so situation. there's a big sort of. <laughs> and the smoke cloud uh, inside as you barrel on your broom through the hallways, down, going down the stairs, into the main foyer, past this big chandelier. Um, just make a... She's like, who is this? It's Strahd! Make a, make a dexterity <laughs> oh, no. saving throw for me, Strix. A what? A dexterity saving throw. Oh, oh no. Flying, flying indoors is oh, never as right. easy. 17. Okay. You miss the railings. You miss the chandelier. <laughs> of armor here, there, and everywhere. You, do, you go through curtains without 
getting caught up and uh, strung up in them, uh, you basically barrel your way all the way to the kitchen without any problem. Awesome. I, I see the scene unfolding and I'm like, it's straw, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, Waffles is just eating a cake off the floor while DF is petting her gently. <laughs> yeah, we, we haven't fed her since the meat pie. Yeah, oh. so, yeah, I, I could totally well, understand. Sorry, everyone, yeah. I try to say in my nicest, yeah. like, my dog just pooped on your thing. Voice. Yeah. <laughs> and there is an overturned table that used to have stuff on it, but they're just, like, empty plates and things now lying across the floor. There are food smears on the floor. There's a cupboard that was sort of smashed open with her beak where she pulled the cake out oh. of. Um, she's just gone to town on this place. <laughs> is there any more cake on the? How big is this cake? It, it was a good sized cake. She's eaten okay. about half of it. I'm gonna just eat a piece because I want one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's good. It's not wrong. Yeah. More guards show up, but when they realize that <laughs> you seem to cake. have you seem to have quelled the ferocious beast, uh, they're not. They're concerned, but they don't take any aggressive action. Yes. Well. Uh, Put it on the tab of Acquisitions Incorporated. <laughs> yeah. I'm home and drawn, please. Yeah, they'll be able to just take care of everything. They'll be able need. to take care of everything, and they're so sorry. <laughs> Why? They also, they also frequently like to give uh, apology tithes. So <laughs> feel free to ask for a little extra. They, they totally brain. understand. And they're this big animal the advocates. So Untrue. just so you know, <laughs> they love owl bears. <laughs> Come on, Waffles! I'll just, like, lead her. <laughs> okay. Uh, she seems, at this point, fed enough and content enough to follow you. I'm so sorry, Waffles. I was like, ruffle her feathers. Mm -hmm. it's, been a, it's been a long... Uh, yeah, she'll long follow you through the house, up the stairs, to the upper floor. Paulton, you hear somebody outside, heavy footfalls. Uh, Dieth is struggling to hide his jubilance yeah. and uh, giggling at himself after uh, totally just... Uh, putting that all on Eck Inc. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, Paulton, you can hear through the DF and Strix's voice. They're back out there now um, and laughing about something. You're not sure. But I do hear they're laughing. Yes. Like, okay. That could Aww. still be bad, though. They're laughing <laughs> together. <laughs> It'd be a laughing spell. <laughs> like, they could be laughing out of fear. Things are going horribly wrong. That's yep. probably what it is. Yeah, you can tell it's not Strix's fear laugh. That one's definitely more succinct. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's like, uh, all right, they're fine. Okay. An hour later, the spell uh, works, Omen. Um, your final gesticulations uh, pass over the cobbled together um, construct body of Evelyn lying on the mat that you laid out. At the end, I snap a couple of times at Paulton and point, but like not necessarily to be rude, just because my mouth is a part of the spell. Mm -hmm. well, also, Paulton probably fell asleep halfway through. <laughs> so the snapping season probably was like, ah, ah. Yeah. he just he's asleep in the plant. <laughs> <laughs> it's providing that gentle support. Um, uh, but no, I just I want I've I've done this before. You have, and if you come to and you don't recognize the person there, it just creates problems. So, so um, I want, just I want uh, him to be there. Uh, Paulton, make a, uh, what's your uh, passive wisdom perception? Uh, I believe. Oh, you know what, just make a perception check. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Can we go back to the passive wisdom thing? <laughs> That's a that was a five. Yeah, he is out. Oh man, you can't wake him with a snap of your finger. <laughs> so, uh, as the radiant light of time over these remains, they are uh, stitched together magically, and before your eyes, Omen, something that has never happened before happens. Uh, as the pieces come together. There's almost like a, a golden thread that weaves through them, joining them up into a cohesive whole. And as pieces all merge and they all come together as one, that construct body is replaced with flesh. And what you see lying before you as the magic subsides is a flesh and blood woman uh, with uh, golden locks. I apologize immediately to Paul. 
I see. I don't. I see. I don't. I assure you, I performed the spell properly. I have no idea how your friend came to be replaced by this terrifying creature. <laughs> Evelyn, this is the voice that you hear. <laughs> oh my God. As you uh, enter this world. Yeah. And I say, I don't want you to be alarmed. <laughs> but something has happened to your body. Something that may surprise and terrify you. <laughs> and uh, because this is a raised dead spell, Evelyn, uh, you awaken with one hit point. So you feel a little bit weak and drained. The other thing that happens to you is it feels like you've been in a long sleep. You have no heavenly memories whatsoever. So the la Whoa, the last thing I remember is the battle? Yes. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Yeah, you get the feeling that you were doing something right before this, something important, but you don't know what it is. Um, it, that that and wherever you were between the battle and now is not in your head. So, and I don't even I don't know the the soulmonger nothing. Uh, that is correct. Uh, I guess Omen is leaning over and saying yeah. this, and she just kind of like, she's like, you know, weak and confused, and she just puts a, a hand on his face. <laughs> kind of is like patting his cheeks, like yeah. trying I to figure out who he is. I try, and you're willing to, I mean, you can tell me if this succeeds, Chris. I try to convert this face grab yeah. into like an awkward high five. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. And as he sort of high-fives your hand before it hits his face in a very awkward way, you can see uh, around his neck, correct me if I'm wrong, Jerry, but you do wear a holy symbol of Timora, correct? Absolutely. You see a symbol that is of a faith, not your own. Uh, I recognize it as Timora, right? You do. Um, I'm about to say something about that when I notice my own hand, yeah. I think. Yes, you would see your flesh hand. Um, yeah. Yeah. And immediately, just like a sob <gasps> and tears, and she starts like <laughs> touching her body and like slapping her face, and like her eyes are all bright, and she's looking, and she's like, "I'm you, I what? How did?" <gasps> yeah. Uh, also, what is she wearing? <laughs> um, Not much. She she would be wearing uh, what she was wearing as a construct. Yeah, basically. Okay, so basically same clothes. Yeah. Cool. Um, she... Although you, you are looking pretty shoddy because oh. they haven't so... been, you haven't been uh, sort of cleaned with prestidigitation spells since you fought in that battle. So, so it's all burny. It's stuff. burny and bloody from where you were sort of, or not bloody, but uh, t uh, yeah. tarnished and torn and yeah. Oh, I'll deal with that in a second. <laughs> what, would her armor have the same embellishments as she got when she received Lathander's blessing? Those are present. Cool. Okay. Yes. So the bracers and breastplate are like that's correct. Buff mode. Yeah. Um, anyway, so once she kind of has that moment, she's like, she recognizes Timora, right? She would know. Oh I yes, guess I knows, could do a religion check. You, no, you don't have to make a check. You're, it's okay. a very, very well known, very famous, your famous deity. I, I think Lathander and Timora had a thing at one point too, right? Yeah. Well, you know, they're they're both champions of uh, you know positive things. Weren't they like romantically involved at some point? Did I oh, make that up? Well, you know, gods don't talk. <laughs> is it your ship? I just. So, but yes, there, there, there is no animosity between the two temples whatsoever. Yeah, she's like, oh, "Holy friend of Time Mora, have you brought me back to life? And why? And who are you? And hello, I'm Evelyn, and nice to meet you." I say, I, uh, I do not have that power, uh, but Holy Time Mora does, and technically, um, this person, I don't know how you feel about him. I'm gesturing over at Paulton. You see Paulton's slumped body, sort of head leaning in a pot, <laughs> a potted plant. Oh, I thought I was up oh. at that point. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. So <laughs> I, no, I, I snapped, but maybe he didn't wake up. You didn't wake up. That's how it should be. Oh, okay. That's how yeah. it should be. You, you didn't okay, wake cool, up. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So she, she like peeks oh out from God. behind Omen and sees Paulton, and then she's like, she like fangirls super hard and hides back behind Omen. He's like, he asked you to bring me back? <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, there's 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 more people. I'll I'll go get him. Um, and do, can I tell from anything about her raiment, like what type of profession she is? Uh, you bet. You bet money on that uh, she's a paladin of Lathander. Oh, I st I stand up immediately and put a hand down like I would to a soldier on a field. All right. And raise her up to her full height. Okay, she is considerably smaller than you, but <laughs> as you pull her up and she grips your hand, you are astonished by the strength in that grip. Good. Good. So it, it, it seems like the it seems like the uh, the resurrection took. <laughs> I'll, I'll just say that out loud. I'll say it seems like this resurrection took. And then you, you say it again louder so they can hear you outside. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it seems like this resurrection mm -hmm. took. took. <laughs> you okay. are you are very blessed and powerful. My name is Evelyn. By what name may I call you, mighty mighty servant of Timor? Uh, well, it's it's really more important that you remember the brand. Uh, that is Acquisitions Incorporated. Brand. Uh, no doubt you've heard of it. But no. I would say that we perform Strix would have told you. I, I say we perform she miracles. She forgot. <laughs> Probably. Daily. Daily miracles? Daily miracles. And at a fraction of the price of many other off people who offer these services. Are you a church? The doors throw Some open. Some say so. Uh, Diaz <laughs> and Strix, you heard the commotion inside now. As the light of the hallway falls on Paulton, Paulton, you are awakened as well. <laughs> oh, Waffles is with us too. <laughs> yeah. And then Waffles comes barreling in to you, Evelyn, and uh, <gasps> sort of throws her weight upon you. Baby girl! <laughs> and you're, as you're sort of petting her and she's like slobbering all over you, all this cake is sort of splattering <laughs> on, your, the on your... And the frosting and, you know, all Even in that moment... Evelyn does take a moment to go like, <laughs> <laughs> but, but she goes back. In, in a moment of resurrection, yeah. I guess those things but are her, her tongue, uh, Waffle's tongue, her uh, sandpaper-like tongue smells super sweet right now. <laughs> um, uh, as soon as she kind of like gets control of Waffle, she kind of peeks out from behind her and she's just like staring wide-eyed at her friends and there's just tears in her eyes. And you can tell she's trying to speak, which is, it's rare that she can't speak when she tries, but she's just overcome with emotion, just eyes glistening. Dieth, uh, as, as soon as you know, just moves forward and actually goes and, without even saying it, just gleeful cheers, uh, hugs Evelyn uh, for just the briefest of seconds, and then afterwards reaches out his hand and forearm to grip hers. Yes, she and warrior they, and grips. They do that, yeah. And then Strix is going to run up and hug both of them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> a double hug scenario. A double uh, hug. So, uh, Evelyn, you forgot just how bad Strix smells. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's like, I can smell you. Oh, I can smell you. Like, I'm sorry. She like hugs, she hugs Evelyn and just is like crying. It's like, no, no, you're a person again. I'm sorry. I smell really bad. It's okay. It, it brings back good memories. <laughs> Yeah, and she turns and she hugs DF too, and she's like, I'm happy for this too! I'm happy we're all not dead! And then she runs over to yeah. Paulton and she's like, get out of the planter! You, yeah, he's, he's probably up now, but he's probably got a few grains of soil stuck on one side of his face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Some, yeah, some Paulton, Paul, So Paulton, like, gets up and yeah. he sees this and sees Evelyn and is just like, nope, 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 nope. And he starts like... And just like kind of <laughs> walks away, like slapping himself like a crazy person. Okay. Like, nope. What is he doing? Nope. nope. He's now out in the hallway, slapping himself. You can what? still hear him. <laughs> <laughs> nope. 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 Did, dang it. Did he, he didn't want me to come back? Uh, no, I, I don't think that's what it is, Evelyn. He didn't want me can, to come back as a human. Can someone I know tell it's me? kind of probably a weaker I body. I just, I mean, I, you know. I feel like we should be on pretty good terms right now. Uh, what was with that? Why was the slapping? <laughs> That's a need to know hall? basis, Omen. That's a uh, new one, actually. Evelyn, why don't you just, why are you, why why don't you just go say hi to him? Just go say hi? I mean, I was kind of just dead a minute ago, and he just does. Uh, Strix yeah. will start pushing her. Okay. Okay. As you're being sort of pushed across the, the, the polished floor, you see uh, next to the mat that you woke up on, there's another mat, and there's the burnt, charred remains of Simon. 
Uh, that shocks her because he wasn't dead when she died. Right. Right. Oops. Correct. Sorry. <laughs> she sees this and just <gasps> oh. Oh. falls to her knees. <laughs> oh no! Help me back. It's fine. Oh, wait, no, it's okay, it's we fine. got it. You're still, she's still, she's still pushing you while you're on your knees across the polished floor. Is this why he's angry? Because no, I'm not it, no, no, no. Our son is No, dead. that's not what it is. No, this was my fault. It was my fault. Our son, not me. You've been pushed out into the hall on your knees. I closed the door behind her. Paulton is standing at the far she end of the hall. There. Paulton is standing at the far end of the hall now. She's by just a window. leaning on the door like, my son. <laughs> Strix is going to make eyes at Omen like... <laughs> Do this one. <laughs> she can cry now. It's a luxury. <laughs> she, she's really making use of that. She's been crying like the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I um. Yeah, I, mean, I wonder what the best play is here. So the next scene is is her out in the hallway with Paulton. Then right? correct. Okay, do that first. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Paul so, is yeah. still just just at the end of the hall by himself. He's just sitting there. He's like, nope, and he's just like yeah. throwing throwing back his wine, just like, nope. Yep. You nope. see, you see at the other end of the hall, Evelyn pushed out through the doors uh, with Strix crying uh, about her son, and the two of you lock eyes. She runs to him. She's like, I'm so sorry. It should have been me. I'm he's so like, nope. sorry. She comes nope. running down the hall. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> What, once, once she gets to me, yes. I'm going to be like, nope, nope, you're going to stop right there. I've got this down to a science. I figured this out, and I'm really tired of it because every time I have this dream that you're back and everything's great and everyone's happy, it's the way it's supposed to be, but that I know that shit doesn't happen in this campaign ever. So <laughs> I figured it out. So I just, I just drink myself into oblivion, and then I'm like, oh, I'm in a dream. I can control it, so I'm going to go ahead. I don't know, like walk on the ceiling. I'm gonna try and like, <laughs> like ninja, like walk up the, the, you get the wall. Yeah, you don't get very far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just fall flat on you my fall ass. Fall flat on your back. Yeah, I'm just like that. That usually works. <laughs> why did Why didn't it work? What? She kind of, she kind of sits down and she like peers over him. She's like, "What happened?" And so, so like, I, I like kind of like reach out and just like, just like start like patting her head and face, be like, <laughs> oh, this, it, you're real. Uh, and he's just like, just like choked up, tears like well up a little bit, and he like brings himself up, and he sits next to her, and he's like, y "But y y you were," and and then the the Kurt. I'm sorry. I know that you would have wanted Simon instead. No, it's not this. <clears throat> he like. And puts a hand on her shoulder. Is like, it's good to have you back. Thanks. And then he gets up. He's like, there's still more work. And he just slowly starts walking back toward the room. Could you tell me what happened? She's just sitting there in the <laughs> middle of the on the middle of the hallway, like he's walking back just, to the room. Yeah. Yeah, she she sat down. Paulton had like a breakdown. She doesn't understand why. She doesn't know how long she's been dead or why Simon's dead or why she's wearing all these burned clothes. She doesn't know the, anything. So she's just sitting there like, could someone just explain something to me for once? Could you just, just, you know? Uh, I like stop. She, are you, you're still like sitting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's just sitting cross-legged like, Evelyn never gets really frustrated. Usually, she's like, "Everything's fine," but right now, she's like, "Could could just could you just maybe you know?" Hmm? Um, he turns around and just reaches out a hand to help her up. She gets up, and then just like pulls her up, and then just pulls her in for a good hug. Okay, and he just really? says, he says. You're back now. 
That's all that matters. Now let's go. Your chest is so soft. Have you ever felt <laughs> fabric? It feels so good. You know, know what it's like to not feel anything for like a year and then suddenly feel every, and I can hear your heartbeat. Oh, that sounds nice. It's like physically, no. So let's go ahead and go. Okay. She doesn't let go. She's like, this is so nice. <laughs> All right. You walk back sort of half hugging, half sort of bracing yeah. <laughs> each other down the hallway. Uh, the rest of you can see uh, them now standing in the doorway, arm in arm. I say, this is their son? <laughs> no. No. He's adopted. Uh, uh, he fell out of a rug. Never mind. It doesn't matter. He's we adopted. Okay. Things are very different here, Omen. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's coming. Our family's lifestyle. <laughs> <clears throat> I say, would it be meaningful to have you be the first people he sees? It would be those two. All right, everybody else can go. I whispered to Paulton, like, do you want me to be there? Yeah, you, you should probably be there. Okay. Okay. Um, so I uh, I try to make the ritual as multiplayer as possible, Chris. Okay. Um, Give I mean, everybody like, things to do. Exactly. Different tasks, arrangements, mm -hmm. applications of yep. oils. You hold sense. this like, candle. Like, you hold exactly. this oil. Exactly. Like, yeah. like, like any other religious absolutely. ritual, there's can, always ways to make it. Absolutely. Uh, yes. You can, you can essentially divvy up the roles to account for everybody. Give everybody exactly. something to do. Uh, and that's, that's exactly what I do. Okay. Um, so, uh, Halton Omen hands you a candle, and you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to use this. I'm, I'm trying to cut down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, uh, you get some, you get a, a small little uh, sensor uh, to swing around Strix, which has some smoke coming out of it. Oh, I have a I have a lot of fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> Just it around, like, if it ever gets, is it ever having too I, much fun, Chris? Yeah. She gets the glare. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, she's starting to like use like uh, she's like using uh, prestidigitation to turn the smoke into like little things and stuff, like little skulls and. Well, no, skulls is fine, but if and, and swinging is fine. That's what it's for. But if you ever swing it one full rotation, oh, she did. That'd be so yeah. cool. Uh, she did. Yeah. yeah. She got the. She got the. <laughs> she got the glare. Yeah. You pull out a little prayer book and you make DF hold it up in front of you and flip pages as you're talking on cue. Yeah. Um, cool. And then you're not exactly sure what to do with Evelyn, so you kind of hand her a triangle and just let her ting it. <laughs> Every... She does her very best to predict when she's supposed to do that. Oh, she when, thinks... the ting is, when the ting is appropriate. <laughs> yeah, because she thinks this is a very important part of the ritual, and she doesn't want to be, like, she doesn't want to seem like she doesn't get the god stuff as much yeah. as Omen does, you know? So she's like, and not not trying to, like, look like it, like, genuinely trying to perceive when the right ting moments are. <laughs> Just learning from the master. <laughs> Roughly twenty percent of the tings, Chris. Yes. Get the thumbs up. Very good. <laughs> she looks very pleased by this. She like feels a real camaraderie. And then I, I try to indicate that that was the one. Like yes. that was the ting that he heard across space and time. Mm -hmm. She just whispers to herself, like, "I was born for this." Yes. <laughs> anyway, because of all this care to involve them all, your one-hour ritual actually takes more like an hour and eleven minutes. But, yeah, yeah, we need. We, yeah. we need to get some DoorDash. <laughs> At exactly. one point, Strix throws the, the incense burner too far and like <laughs> down. And she just hits herself glare. in the head with it. Boom. Yeah, her, part of her hat catches on fire. <laughs> and she's trying to stamp it out while not distracting anybody. Eventually, yeah. it just doesn't go out, so she has to like stand on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, she's just on fire. Yeah. Okay. Fortunately, you're tiefling, so. You can, stand, you can stand there on fire and not disturb anybody for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so when the ritual is ended and the, the light of Tomora um, sort of washes away the burns all over this puppet, this halfling-sized puppet, uh, uh, you can see that uh, most of the wood of his body and other components are kind of restored by the magic. And as the light subsides, however, unlike Evelyn, he is still a construct. A wooden boy. A wooden boy. 
and he's missing, he's still missing all of his burnt away clothes, so he's a naked wooden boy. Um, a not, an, not anatomically correct one either. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, oh, thank yes. God. <clears throat> uh, but his eyes do flick open, and you can see he's got his hinged mouth again. Yeah. Oh, this and, is a mistake. Uh, when, his, when his eyes open, um, uh, I say, you have good friends, boy. He shoots you with a dart that comes <gasps> out of his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, he rolled a 16 on the die, which is going to be a 22 to hit. <laughs> that definitely hits. So, right in the throat. Uh, uh, no, make no, oh, no! Is it a death one? <laughs> make a constitution saving throw. I, I, we don't do we see the dart? who are saving our lives. Do we see the dart? You see it fly out of his mouth and stick Omen as he's leaning over... Simon, right in the underneath the chin. I see the, and I'm just like, we still got that scroll, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I actually, I murdered this one. Chris. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the dart sticks in you. You take one point of piercing damage, and uh, you take uh, no other effect. Even so you just kind of reel like, back. Grabs the dart and goes, and pulls it out. She's like. <laughs> Right. Sorry. A little bit of blood he's, comes down Omen's neck. He's had yeah. some behavior problems. <laughs> Did we mention he's adopted? He's also <laughs> like a killing tool, an adopted <laughs> killing tool. Mm. Yes. Well, uh, Strix, if there's nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please don't leave so soon. We we have so much to talk about. I'd love to learn more you pull about out, this. You pull out an acquisitions, acquisitions ink stamped hanky and just sort of dab your neck with it. <laughs> yeah. I was um, just like, that's some good branding. Like I said, Omen, if you ever need our help, just ask. Maybe yeah. don't summon me. Just well, ask. I, I said no promises. <laughs> <laughs> Punch on the arm. Um, Ow, I, I, I hurt. I say, uh, I would keep an eye uh, on your mail. The what? Letter. Do you know about letters? <laughs> Talking about like, like the hat. What came out of like the letter of the hat? Yes. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you have, if you you may feel another letter poking into the top of your head soon. Oh, all right. No, um, this, uh, this one will be a choice, Strix. Good, because I want to help. What the hell does this even mean? <laughs> I, I don't know. Don't look at me. It means Maybe. so help. Maybe, I know he just shot you with a dart, but maybe if you could just like wait a few minutes and we can kind of, you know, calm him down a little bit. We could Simon, all hang out. Simon can... just sort of sits up and spins his head 360 degrees around. Isn't he cute when he does that? To take everything no. in. Everything in. His no, eyes are sort not. of looking around as his head is spinning around. And once it comes back around and resets, he just sort of flexes his fingers, puts his hand up against his mouth, and then gets up to his feet and holds out a hand for Paulton. Oh, Aww. he doesn't have his mouth. Oh, thank Aww. God. <laughs> Paulton takes his hand just like, I've missed you, my boy. <laughs> he'll he'll sort of come in and hug you. Aww. He looks like, ah! Uh, before Omen goes, yeah. I'm going to walk up to him. Be like, you. Yeah. I know we're a unique bunch, to say the least. I say, honestly... This is a refreshing change of <laughs> <laughs> That is the nicest thing anyone, like, but thank you. I, I, hold, my, I hold my hand out, because I, I, I can tell that this is hard for mm -hmm. so I want to skip to the part that he can understand, which is where the hands touch each other. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, give it a, I give it a good shake, uh, and I say, I'll be in touch. You do that. Do you think we could like stay in touch? You know, I'd love to like learn more about this Church of Acquisitions. It sounds real interesting, and you're quite skilled. I'd love to I learn. I have my mail hat. Yeah, you'd you'd like it the most. Uh, and I, I I turn over and I say, you know, we didn't always we didn't always see a hundred percent eye to eye, Dorth. But <laughs> yeah. I feel like 
I feel like by the end, we were getting to a place where we wouldn't actually, you know, absolutely 100% revile each other. And, you know. Alton's playing like the most romantic music on his mandolin during this. (laughs) That's not nothing, you know, that's not nothing. I can't deny what I owe you. And that sickens me. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm also, at least I consider myself an honorable person. Though my opinion of of you has only at the gentlest bettering. I still prefer if we don't cross paths. Two things. You're a four out of 10 at max. (laughs) (laughs) But you've got growth potential. And as a manager, I have to respect that. Second, I know exactly what your name is. And that's when I leave. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Like as he leaves, Paul walks up to Diaz and goes, You'll come around, buddy. (laughs) Just you wait. You'll brush the hand off. I don't want him to. (laughs) I don't like it when people fight. Dungeons and Dragons is a great game, everybody. And and (laughs) Simon's there. He's just like counting fingers. And he holds him up to the (laughs) F. Good job. job. (laughs) That's far. That's right. Good job. Good boy. Uh, from He's all f- from all of this, uh, Diaz actually uh, notices how much everyone else around him actively respects Omen. Oh no! As he walks out, Evelyn Evelyn leans over Diaz's shoulder and is like, "Will you tell me what's going on?" <laughs> 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 Yes, Evelyn. Uh, I'll tell you everything you need to know. He seems real nice. Why are you so mean to him? I've been wondering. Because I hate everything that he is and what he represents. That church sounds real nice. Acquisitions (laughs) Incorporated. It's like gathering souls for the ride, you know, acquiring them. No, that's just flowery language. That is no church. That is a... (laughs) They have a nice logo, though. Promotion, spot on. I mean, I can't deny that. (laughs) <laughs> Listen, the brand message. Wow. <laughs> um, Very well, consistent. Check out Acquisit Ac Inc. Link in the description. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Desecrate that like button. Yep. Um, uh, as always, uh, Waffle Crew uh, DCA, thanks so much for letting me come back on the show. Absolutely. Really. Thank you, glad Jerry. I, Thank glad you. I could provide a service. Yes, so this much, was anytime. great. So this Anytime was you so need much help. fun. Yes. No, and Chris, I have got stuff I need these people to do, and I will send you an email after Thank the game. Thank you. Please All do. Right. I can't wait. You, Thanks, everybody. Jerry. We were crazy. Crazy. weird. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, so with Omen's departure, uh, the Waffle Crew is now reunited. What would y'all like to do? Uh, Dieth explains everything to Evelyn. <laughs> okay. Uh, he explains to her how... Uh, she was felled, how she was gone for however long, and how much it had affected Paulton and the, all of us, and what we had went through, and how she had saved us all from... It was clearly her who stopped the death curse, and everything that we went through to return her here, because she needs to be here with us. That and This takes... A, probably a good little Hours. while. Like there's yeah. probably like the morning sun has come up. A lot of questions during it slows down the process a lot. Yep. Drix is asleep in a corner. So is Waffles. <laughs> With Waffles just yeah. like a pile of rags. Yeah, Waffles basically isn't entered the the Albert's biggest sugar coma. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Strix is just like clutching the the spell book yeah. with next to waffles, just like Meh, like maybe if she sleeps with it, she'll uh, understand it. Right. Wait. Yeah. So before Omen left, did we like get our rings back and stuff, or no? I think they were like absorbed, <laughs> or, or or were they like uh, I guess used? I, I don't know. Uh, it's possible they were used uh, in the ritual. They didn't seem to be used. Um, 
but longer with the other accoutrements. When he packed up everything, his prayer book and everything, they were shuffled off with it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> it's like, Dieth oh. actually like hits a wall off of it and yeah. guys, like stomps around a little those, bit. Those rings I gave you with my soul in them, you, you lost oh. those? Oh, he's- well, They were meant to resurrect you! I'm asleep, <laughs> wait, sorry, going back to my spot. He's fucking. really good. There's, <laughs> there's always extra payment when it comes to Omen Drawn. Well, you know, they are called Acquisitions, Inc. I would still have the family ring, though, right? Because you do have that. He never, you know, you never parted with it. Oh, I still have this, though. So there's that. It's pretty great. Oh, you still have that. That's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Great. You know, just cool. my this is a signet ring. Yeah. As, as the sun rises of the city and the city comes alive in the morning, you can hear birds outside um, by the thousands. You can hear people down in the streets, the marching of dinosaurs about and other beasts of burden. So I suppose the next morning, um, after getting a, a nice breakfast mm -hmm. and the like. Yep. A breakfast? Uh, what do yeah. we eat? Oh, for well, breakfast? that's actually. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually, breakfast, breakfast is not served because after the servants ran away, they didn't come back. So, oh, okay. So, Strix will go into the cupboards yes. and find, find things yes. that she can manifest into, yeah. a, into food for you everyone. You basically we, we put a table back, uh, write a table, and then put a bunch of bowls and stuff on there, bring out a bunch of ingredients, and kind of whip something up. Yeah. Uh, so, with that, uh, uh, DS will just tell everyone. Throw in a ghoul tongue. That, uh, uh, that makes it spicy. He'll, Death will remind everyone of his original barter of making this map to throughout uh, the jungles of Chult and that they can use uh, use that. We have passage back home. We can go back to Water Deep. We can go home. That can't be real. The ship will sink or something. <laughs> Well, hopefully not, but Evelyn's here, so it can be real, right? That's true. She, Evelyn is like, has a lot to process. She's kind of like, she has no idea how she was involved in stopping the Soulmonger, so she keeps being like, are you sure? How there's, do you know? There's no other explanation. But how? Well, we got better. Is is Evelyn's body exactly the same as she remembers it? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I mean, you were a construct for a good long time, but your body feels like it kind of did back before you became a construct, maybe even better. You're, you're very healthy and hale at the moment. Once you've regained all your hit points, of course, which you did. Yeah, we all took a long rest. Yeah. And, yeah. Alton's been just kind of like sitting there, mm -hmm. like, like with the, the expression of like that lady trying to do like all the the math. <laughs> <laughs> the math just, lady. Just, the math lady is just like. And that's it. Oh, also, Strix How? will give her juniper back. Bloop. Oh yeah, <gasps> you are, you have a yeah. welcome reunion. Juniper. With I hope she's fatter than she was, is she? I mean, probably. Oh. There's all kinds of garbage in Strix's robes. Yeah, she's Did probably... Did you have a good time? She's probably also, uh, like, just black with soot. <laughs> you need a <Yeah>. bath. <laughs> I would also like a bath. But I would like to know... Oh, yeah, you have a bath long, a long time. Yes. Um, because especially now that I am a human and have flesh instead of metal, I remember how gross it feels when you don't take baths mm -hmm. and it is quite gross i don't but, think so <laughs> well maybe you should try it sometime can i give do you want to do you want a makeover ah! she runs away <laughs> uh but how how long did all of this take uh how long did all this take give or take chris there's a lot of travel in there yeah it's been maybe a couple months Shit. And there were a few problems when I left, like Shemeshka and getting her things yeah. for her. Oh yeah. yeah, we have those things. We got her items, that's right. We should we could call her. No, she can come <laughs> for them. I don't think she does that. 
Well, until then, Strix, you keep learning everything you can about that book Please. and those spectacles. You can tell that she can't. She can, like, she's just like, <laughs> oh, like, you can tell that she's just like, has no idea what to do with the book. Uh, Diaz will reach into his pouch and remove the spectacles and also hand those over to Strix. Okay. Like, right. Anything you can discern or learn, we need to know this. Uh, uh, if she puts the spectacles on, can she read the book? Uh, when you put the yeah. spectacles on, you try to read the book. It is as foreign as it was before. They don't seem to help. But oh. I will let you make an intelligence arcana check uh, now that you okay. can inspect the spectacles and wear them such. All right. Uh, wait. 18. You think that these spectacles, they're not magical per se, but there is something odd about them that you can sense immediately. And being who you are from where you are, you oh. would put money on the fact that these spectacles are a gate key. Okay. I'd scream that. <laughs> ah, <I'm thinking. laughs> yeah, yeah. And take and them off. And she like tosses it and Diaz yeah. like crushes it like inches it from the ground. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah a gate exactly. key to where? That you're I mean, not sure of. We don't know. Yeah, so she goes, I know! It's bad, probably. But I, your friends probably don't even know what a gate key is. I mean, we did go through one once with a well, little I mean, pine tree. I just assume there's a gate and there's a key to it. And so it's a mm -hmm. she's trying to key. explain it. And you guys probably saw the math lady. It's fine. <laughs> she'll just pick the glasses back up and just put her in her, put them in her robes. To okay. Keep them. okay. Okay. So we have those. And apparently Sorry. I did something to the soulmonger, which is cool. You, you must have. I wish that I knew. Hopefully Lathander will see fit to explain it to me along with many other things. Well, you Thander, really, you really don't remember anything. I don't remember anything. I remember a tentacle monster, and then poof, here. Huh. It How was uh, gruesome. What happened, <clears throat> Strix? What happened to Simon? So okay, good. well, so you were ripped apart by the monster, and then your head rolled on the ground in front of us, which was super gross. And then I tried to animate you, and Paulton was like, don't do that. And I was like, oh, why? That's weird. And then, <laughs> then I accidentally tried to fireball the monster, and then the fireball ricocheted back and killed Simon, and it was my fault. Sorry, Simon. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, did you guys end up killing that thing? Paulton killed it. It was awesome. I, I couldn't do anything. Yeah, Paulton went up there and I couldn't even see what. It was It was loud. And then it was just gone. Oh, that reminds me. Um, remember those clones of us? Did we tell you no. about that? No. Oh. Oh. What clones? Oh. What? Oh. Yeah. <sighs> some Some evil hags. Hags! Made, made. Oh, yeah, she doesn't know about that either. Oh. Why doesn't anyone tell me anything? <laughs> <laughs> Quite the little uh, bubble. Well, apparently, Shemeshka has part of Diet's <laughs> soul in a box. That's weird. Soul? In a box? What hags? What clones? Why? Uh, Diet goes into, uh, with as little detail as possible, <laughs> the, the deal with the hags, how they uh, acquired. <laughs> Uh, are being able to create clones of us, them appearing, uh, and us having a, a weird throwdown, uh, and just handling it all, and how that, uh, whatever spin off of Paulton, uh, still exists out there in the world. Do you mention, uh, just the, ha the clones of you guys? Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll bring up the fact that there was this strangely, uh, uh, servant of Shar. That man, it could have just been you in a different coat of paint. It was awful to see. Shar. That, that's what she said. <laughs> I would never. I, uh, I, I know, I know you. Ah, she got mad. <laughs> I don't who. I don't, I don't know who Shar is. Only the lady of the darkness and death and gross things that aren't Latin mourning. Strix like looks at herself. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to learn people's secrets and then torture them with them. And oh. and she likes death and decay and it, the opposite of everything nice. Oh, death, we met him. 
for her. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we did. Oh yeah, we left that part out. We met Jack. Why doesn't anyone tell me anything? <laughs> Strix will walk up and give Evelyn a, like a snack and be like, you can eat these now. This will make you feel better. <gasps> what are they, though? Uh, it's, a, it's a snickerdoodle. A little thing she whipped Snickety up downstairs. Yeah, so a nice one, not, like, not something no, she, that's been in your robe. No, no, it. those are nice ones, too, mostly. <laughs> she eats it and, like, tears spring to her eyes. She's like, I love it. See, everything is fine. Make a saving throw. Um, constitution saving throw, Evelyn. <laughs> oh, no. What? what? <laughs> They're fine. She washes her hands, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Should I use? I'm going to use the die that Holly gave me. Oh, please, yeah. Oh my gosh. Just Here in case. Here comes the one. Yeah, this one because she's not a construct anymore. So. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's a twenty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was standing. That's the first time I've rolled that. Woo! That's awesome. Dude, that, the same yeah. thing happened with the, the one that she gave me. That's Holly, awesome. nice. I'm your best. Nice. You need to buy us 80 more dice. Yes, please. <laughs> when you, uh, when you uh, choke down that snickerdoodle thing, um, your, your tongue kind of goes a little numb for a moment. <laughs> oh. Uh, um, go. But it passes. Is that how food was? I, I kind of <laughs> <laughs> Like, wait, what did I did I put something wrong in it? I, I thought it was fine. Did she put anything wrong? Do I have can I like intelligence check to find out where why that happened? Wait, maybe it was poisoned. Uh nope. Wait. Was the I, food poisoned? Mm. Did someone try to poison us? Mm. I rolled an intelligence check, but I rolled a six, so okay. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Is this right, the food that, like, Evelyn, spit that out. This is she, food like, that Strix prepared downstairs in the kitchen. Using, oh. using ingredients from the from the kitchen. Yeah. Wait, so it wasn't the it wasn't her snickety snooks. It was something that she made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, Strix, keep telling Evelyn about everything else, and Dieth will start immediately investigating all the cupboards and everything, and just looking for any kinds of okay. signs of. Strix will uh, start like, talking about the really okay. awkward hag baby situation. Be like, I don't know why he was so adamant about it. It was so weird. <laughs> okay. Uh. Evelyn, Evelyn asks, oh, so of course you guys have already gone and gotten that straw doll back then. <laughs> no? Uh, Awkward. What, what did you guys do? <laughs> uh, DF, as you're searching around the kitchen, make a perception check. All righty. This is a hard hey, one. Hey, it's pretty good. Did you say perception? Perception. Oh, fuck yeah, 27. Okay. Um, uh, you can see... Your search of the, 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 you can't find anything in the, Strix probably left the kitchen a mess for starters. Oh, so sure. everything, everything that she used is kind of probably out on the table or lying on the floor somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's things drawn. Yeah. There's them. probably stuff stuck on the ceiling too. <laughs> uh, but um, as you're sort of searching around the floor and such, you, uh, you do catch a glint of something which uh, looks like somebody might have dropped it on the floor in haste um, and it might have just rolled off to the side. Nobody... It would have taken a lot to notice it, but you've got keen eyes. You pick it up right away. It's a tiny vial about that big with a little stopper in it, but it's empty. But you can see as you pick it up and look at it, there is a residue inside it. Like it wasn't completely drained. Uh, somebody poured it out and left enough of a residue that it kind of settled. And the nature of it, the viscosity of it, suggests it's nothing you would normally find in a kitchen. Yeah, uh, this would not belong in here. Right, and when you uncork it and you smell it, uh, you, there is something... Uh, vile about it. What the hell? Uh, Diaz will re take this and return to the others. Okay. Does anyone remember who this food is being prepared for? I mean, was for, it, I, for was us. It, was, it, was it for us? Strix prepared it. Prepared the food for you guys. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean us. the I mean the servants. Oh. No, we're the Before only people you even here. Got here. It's just us. You were told you, by the guards that this place is basically just uh, held for important dignitaries. Who owns this building? The merchant princes of Port Nyanzaru. Did anyone come into the kitchen while you were making that, Strix? <laughs> no! <laughs> she just, like, starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> did you... Did you put any special ingredients no, in I it? No, I, I never do that unless you ask. You know that. <laughs> Like, wait, so you found that thing. You found that yes. in, the, in the kitchen. Yeah. 
Someone's trying to kill us. Time to leave. Uh, hold up. You found that in the kitchen. The, was that the kitchen that Waffles was in? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Waffles is fine. Because this the, the little vial, someone poured it in my cookies. Someone is poisoning my cookies. <laughs> I check on Waffles. Is she fine? Uh, you turn and you see she's eaten the last of Strix's cookie mounds. <gasps> <laughs> and she sort of looks at you sheepishly. I'm sure she's I fine. attempt the owlbear Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> that that oh actually God. proves to be impossible with your <laughs> short arms. I get arms. under her and kick with my feet. He bats Rick, you away. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> will just do the like, like sticking your hand into the dog's mouth, but like her whole arm into her yeah, mouth. Yeah, she just sort of clamps down. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not, no, not, on your, a, not on your arm. She's just like, mm, like, a, like a dog that won't open its mouth. Oh, that won't open its mouth. She's a big girl. Screaming. She's a big girl. It may yeah, not even affect okay. her. If for some reason it can't, uh, Evelyn, you can, you can purge poison. You did to me before. Yeah. It, she's like, she's just sitting, sitting next to her with her hand ready, like hand at the ready to lay on. <laughs> someone, right. The more important thing is that someone's trying to kill us. The more important thing is that someone wants us dead. Why? I was just dead. Why? Evelyn, we never get what we want in life. <laughs> uh, no, D.F. and Paulton, you can make an insight check. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Nine. Nine. Eleven. Okay. Paulton, uh, you got so anything? Me neither. You watch, can't you watch. Evelyn make an insight check? Because. Yeah. Reason. <laughs> uh, but Evelyn, you are paying very close attention to Waffles, who's just sort of sitting there, who just sort of lets out a little belch. And then, oh. uh, uh, but she's just sitting there. At one point, she just kind of, in the sunbeam that's coming through the window, sort of, sort of yawn, <sighs> and kind of lie down a little bit. But, you know, then she sort of looks at you and looks out the window, sees the birds, and seems fixated on the birds. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. You're, you're, for the next hour, you're just, like, waiting to cast the spell on her, and you notice nothing to suggest that she's been affected. It's like when your dog eats, like, a chocolate cake or something. Exactly. And you're like, just hovering around them yeah, the whole time. Yeah, you're worried, yeah. are they going to throw up? Ready to lift it and get yeah. it off the carpet? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or take it to the hospital if it drops. Right. Yeah. Yep. But she does not seem to be adversely affected by anything that she's eaten. Okay. Strix is checking every cookie in her robes to make sure none of them are poisoned, like, and licking them, like, okay. <laughs> putting them back. Okay. Licking every <laughs> cookie. <laughs> 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 putting well, them back. Well, what else did I miss? I mean, I, I know the basics, but... I've been gone for a long time. What, you know, how's everyone feeling? And like, did, you know. Uh, paranoid now. Uh, a little I, rushed. I feel like we should probably get out of here or. I'm going to leave. Certainly a lot of people know that you're here now. Probably. Why would someone want us dead? You didn't tell me that part. I don't know why. We didn't do anything to anyone. Ooh. Except for exist. I mean, we have crazy magic and owl bear that ransacks things. Like, it, there's lots of reasons. Yeah, I don't exactly blame whoever it is. Uh, is there any other, uh, not necessarily servant, but any other person that works the building or anything still left, or they'll bail after the uh, the episode? servants bailed? Um, but as the as the day goes on, as early, early morning goes on, uh, you do hear activity downstairs and can track down who is basically a house manager, a person who's charged Great. with changing the flowers and making sure yeah. everything, yeah, all that business. Yeah, anyone I can talk to I, yeah. and then can ask, yeah. who do these, is there anyone that did not recognize or not know walk through these doors at any point in time, et cetera, just try to gather whatever information The guards, The guards did not see anything untoward. Um, uh, throughout the course of the night while you were upstairs. They were standing outside by the, uh, patrolling the grounds, essentially. There aren't that many. There are only three outside on the grounds, and it's quite a large estate. And there's another three inside as well. And they didn't see anything. Nobody saw anything. How, how, how well do you know every single one of your servants, especially the ones that may work in the kitchen? Uh, the servants often change. The house manager will uh, change them out um, periodically. So. Uh, but she vets everyone carefully before allowing them in. She has personal interviews with them and such. She checks the references and no alarm bells there. What the hell? How does this even happen? Uh, I mean, it's, it's probably going to be on the tougher side, but what do I know about Portnai and Zaru? 
and uh, through either my city secrets or thieves can't or whatever of a potential uh, underbelly or um, well, you dark. know, based on your own personal experience, that you have had run-ins with the Zentarum in the city. Ah, fuck. Um, you left the city then uh, with, that, <laughs> with that business unfinished. Yeah. They have, yeah. They have flying snakes here. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, starting to remember. Uh, flying, to snakes, flying snakes are also very small and can carry... Yeah, they sure can, can't they? I'm never making cookies again. Uh, I I'll explain this to the others. And since and since the Zentarum provide mercenaries to the merchant princes, as you were told, to basically guard caravans and things like that, and you're staying in a merchant prince house, it's not beyond the pale that they found out you were here. Yep, and and they probably still know you're here. We gotta go. Well, I don't see any reason to stay here other than this is a real nice house, and I kind of thought <laughs> maybe I could grab a bath. Wait, why do we need to go? Uh, the was all that conveyed? Evil, evil, evil magic people want to kill us. Uh, I'll, I'll tell them about the Zentarum and how they're after us for reasons that I'm not entirely sure on or I've forgotten. Sounds like, okay. Isn't it because um, they wanted the ring? Yeah. The ring of oh, winter. the ring of winter. That's right. Yeah, oh. we kind of took that okay. from them. So he's like, "Okay, so nine cents, and all right, so we should go." <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we should. Uh, I've got a contact. I'll see if I can find them and see how soon we can get the heck out of here. Yeah. Uh, so, are you leaving on mass then? Yes. Uh, yeah. Everyone, stay together. Okay, so in a tight little group, you all head out of this building, <laughs> looking in all Mark's directions. Just walking backwards like yeah. this. <laughs> just eyes in every direction. Yeah. Just dun, dun, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Evelyn, you're still keeping an eye on Waffles, but she seems totally fine. She's ambling along beside you like this is a wonderful day. Cool. Yeah, the warm, uh, the warm sun beats down on you as you come outside, and Evelyn, you feel that warmth of light for the first time, <gasps> that, that heat, and you, you just bask in it for a moment. I think Evelyn's probably been pointing out like very things and like expecting other people yeah, to recognize the flower them, like, smells and the plant smells and she even smells that caterpillar over there. Yeah. Doesn't this wallpaper feel amazing and like you know? <laughs> Every time. Doesn't the really sound happy. of rocks underfoot just make you think of happy times? Strix will just get closer to her and just like totally bombard her with smell. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> okay. like, I'm so happy you're happy, Evelyn. And she's like, he's trying to push her away. <laughs> Paulin's too paranoid. He's just like, oh, it's, it's, it smells very nice. Good. Very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, DF, you lead them to this, uh, uh, one of the city's major uh, sort of attractions for visitors, and that's the Thundering Lizard Tavern and Inn, uh, where okay. you hope to get information about a man named Lyric Dashland. He is the fellow uh, who yeah. said he would give you a ship for a map. Uh, when, you yeah. a when you ask uh, around for him, uh, you are told uh, that he is currently in the Grand Souk, and you can find him there. So oh, that's as perfect. He's still around in town. He is, yeah. Excellent. Um, he had some... He, the, the innkeeper doesn't know his whole schedule, uh, but Larrick did mention that he would try to be back before evening, but you can find him now at the souk. That's perfect. All right. All right. Uh, as you lead your friends from the Thundering Lizard into the Grand Souk, which is the largest market bazaar in the city of Port Nyanzaru, I need everybody to make perception checks. DF, you have advantage based on the description of this man that DF gives you uh, to see whether or not you can find him in the crowd. That's right. That's the only person who's actually met him before. Right. Ooh. I got a seven. Natty 20. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! I got 18. Very good. Uh, 18. So based on the description uh, given to you, Paulton, you think you spot uh, the, the man that DS looking for. And when you tap on DS shoulder and point him out, DF can indeed confirm uh, that it is him. And uh, you can see that uh, currently, Larrick Dashland is talking to a turtle. Oh. Love them. Yeah. Is it one we recognize? 
Uh, or is it a different one? A different one. Uh, you it can wasn't see like that, the guard one or whatever? No, this one is a little bit uh, shorter than the last one you met, uh, a little bit taller, uh, younger than, a lot younger than Zopa. And uh, yeah. she is wearing red goggles on her head, not pulled over her eyes, just sort of pulled up above her eyes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see that she has uh, a leather harness strapped over her shell that has all these accoutrements hanging from it to suggest that maybe she's some sort of explorer. She's got like a net and she's uh, on, a, on a pole. She's got some... Uh, I love her. Yeah. And some other accoutrements. And they're just, having a, they're just having a casual conversation. All right. Um, I'll, I'll casually approach... Uh, and then okay, not trying seek. to surprise him. I assume just no, no, nothing like that. Yeah. Uh, he'll he'll see you. And actually, he he recognizes you. Um, oh, he, excellent! Great. He just sort of waves you, waves at you. Yeah, when I make eye contact and signal the rest of the uh, crew to kind of come with me, and I'll, yeah. I'll approach Larrick. Yeah, he's like Dorth uh, DF, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DF gets triggered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, DF. Yes, that's yeah. right. Oh, and uh, he turns to his uh, uh, and says, oh, we'll talk later. This is a great opportunity, and I hope you accept this commission. And uh, she nods. She smiles at you all um, and uh, sort of uh, turns and kind of awkwardly blends into the crowd as best as she can. But how um, does she smell? Uh, she smells like uh, fresh-cooked eel. Which Evelyn is ponders this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As she leaves, Paulin's just like, bye, have fun being liked by everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Lyric will say, y it's great to see you back in the city. It's wonderful to be back. I know it's been some time, but I have never once forgotten my pledge to you, and I want you to know that I have done exactly as you have said. You, you uh, were able to visit Oralunga? Yes. And Omu? Yeah. And Nangalore? <laughs> what was that last one? <laughs> and that's where we'll stop for today. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's good to be back folks good to be back yeah. um, uh, before we break off into our separate worlds for the rest of the week um, uh, uh, we'll, we'll pick up the game of course next week same bat time same bat channel but anybody have any announcements they want to share with folks I believe um, Nate you probably have an announcement about a certain other campaign that's Mm-hmm. Uh, the new D&D campaign live stream show, whatever you want to call it, that I am uh, producing and also playing in, uh, Dark and Dicey, uh, premieres May 14th, 7 p.m. Pacific, right here on twitch.tv slash D&D. It's uh, kind of an evil campaign, and the characters and players are absolutely insane, and we are really stoked on it. Yeah, so. if you haven't seen the new uh, opening video for it, it is on the interwebs, and check it out. It's really sexy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, twitter.com slash darkanddicey. All of the updates and stuff are there, so go check it out. Yep. I even had Mangalore wrote in, written down in my notes. Too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> we can play him a song. It'll be fine. <laughs> Just show him those smi that smile and those pistols. He'll be good. Yeah. Uh, any other uh, affairs? Of I think uh, I think the s the event was announced, right? Are you talking about the stream of many yes. eyes? Yes. Yeah. 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 Just announced today. Yeah. The stream so, of many um, eyes was announced, and yours truly will be hosting it. So yes. I hope y'all tune in because we're gonna play some games. We're gonna talk D and D. Yeah. And we're all gonna be there. Yes, we yes. will all be there. There yeah. will be dice camera action, action a plenty. Mm -hmm. Like literally, first live game all together in costume ever. And That's dun, if, dun, you're, dun. if you're in Los dun, dun. Angeles, this is. Uh, something that you can attend. Yes. You can so, be a live studio participant in this chaos. 
So yeah. I'm really stoked on it, June uh, 1st through 3rd. Yeah, and there'll be lots of other groups there. If they haven't been announced yet, they'll be announced. Uh, oh, they announced tons of them. High okay, Rollers will be yep. there. Uh, mm -hmm. Sirens of the Realm Realms will be there. Be there. Lots, yep. just lots. Dark and Dicey will also be there. So Dark and there Dicey will be there. All weekend. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. And it'll all be streamed. All be so streamed. Yes. Tune in. It'll also be streamed. And there'll be many, many surprises. Oh, uh, my other announcement cool. is that normally I would have my uh, Miss Clicks D and D Lost Mind show right after this, but we had a player have to drop out because of Ooh. travel probs, so we're going to postpone. We'll be back next week. But if you want to catch up on the campaign, this gives you uh, an extra week. So go to youtube.com/slash Miss Clicks, and you can uh, catch up. And I still have trapped in the birdcage on Thursdays too. If you guys want to watch that, yep. that's where I DM. I'm okay. <laughs> then why is it called that, Holly? Because it's in Sigil. That's right. Our favorite place to go in dice camera action. <laughs> <laughs> and completely unrelated to this campaign in every way. <laughs> oh, no, actually, I did. It does tie in. The first tie in episode was last episode. It was awesome. Yep. Was we met Baby coy. Strix. <laughs> I was trying she to be said, coy. She said she true. doesn't like sneaky people. It's true. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Foreshadowing, it's fine. Yeah. All right. Then uh, there's the Reddit. And oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, spam that Jesus. link. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Get I on it. Forgot, you forgot Get the port. You forget just uh, a bad day. There's also uh, Waffle Talk. Yes. Hosted yeah. by PowerScore RPG. Mm -hmm. yep. And I did an AMA on the subreddit. That's and right. I oh, answered yeah, as many questions. Yep. I answered as many questions as I possibly could. So is Hope it nice like to be it. back in the flesh, Evelyn? Yes. It's <laughs> overwhelming. It's uh, there's like so much that she wants to talk about and understand and do. And as usual, the party's like, okay, I gotta go. And she's like, but I was dead and now I'm a human and I don't know. Yeah. I love how she didn't know anything that happened and we were like, oh yeah, that. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that is Ooh, yeah. bad, isn't oh. it? The straw Ooh. doll was taken by the shatter guy. Oops. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oops. Yeah. And she's she just she never knew about the hags. That's the first time she ever found out about any of that. Ooh, no yeah. Oh anything. yeah, whoops. Ooh, yeah, yeah they, they came in the night and yeah. Evil is gonna have some trust issues after this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like, what bad shit is happening to you guys that we don't Well, know? and I had no idea she was gonna come back without memory of everything that happened, so I'm having to like uh -huh. retcon, re roll, re like roll her back to like before. Yep. And make sure that she's that person. So that's really interesting. Thank Mission you, accomplished. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're so clever. <laughs> De death is disorienting. It is. It yep. is. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it for this week then. Everybody take care of each other. And we'll see you next week when Dice Camera Action returns next Tuesday, the 8th of May. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Cheers, folks. Bye, everybody.